Let's start with question number one. It says express each number as a product of its prime factor. So, we have to do that that our each number we provided is the prime factor. Like you know that what will be 140? It will be divided by two. First of all, so dividing 140 with two, you will get 70 as a set next number. Then do, you will divide it with two again, so it will give you 35. Then 35 you know is divisible with 5, then with 7 and ending with 7 only. So now how you can write 140 as a prime factor? It will be 2 square into 5 into 7. That's it. 2 square kyu likha because 2 is repeating twice. So now moving to the next one which is 156. A 156 ka bhi hume prime factorization nikalna. It will be again divided with 2. And if you will divide it with 2, you will get 7 here and you will get 78. Then again dividing it with 2, you will get 39. And yes, dividing 39 with 13, so you will get 3 here. Or you can write 3 first, then you can write 30. So 3, then it will be by 30. So now let me write 156 as a prime factor. It will be 2 square into 3 into 13 now moving to the next one you have is uh, 3825 so 3825 3825 will be divisible with 3 first of all so you will get 1 here then you will get 2 here then you will get 12, no, 22, it will be by 7 then. And then it will be 15, so ending with 5. Again, it will be divisible with 3. Let me divide it, divide it with 3 again. So you will get 4 first of all. Then you will get 75 now. 75 divided by 3 is 25. So when you divide 1, 2, 7, 5 with 3, it will give you 425 then you have 425 now you can divide it with 5 so 425 divided by 5 will give you 85 then again with 5 you will get 1 here and then 35 it is 7 then again 70 then ending with 1 so you will have 3825 as 3 square 5 square and 70 now the next one is 50 Zero 05. So you can clearly see that 505 will be divisible with 5 first of all, then it will be 1001, then dividing it with 7, 1001 is divisible with 7, so it will give you 143, Seven is divisible with 143, then 143 will be divisible with 11. It will give you 13 as the next number and then in the last it will be 13 only. So 5005 can be written as 5 into 7 into 11 into 13. Now the next number which is 7429. So now 7429 will be divisible with 17. This is the number which is divisible with 17. I am doing the fifth one. Seven four two nine is divisible with seventeen first of all. So if you divide these two numbers, this number with seventeen, you will get four thirty seven. Then four thirty seven is divisible with nineteen, and then you will get twenty three nineteen into twenty three is four thirty seven, and in the last it is a prime number, so it will be twenty three only. So 7429 can be written as 17 into 9 into 23. So yes, this is your answer for the first one. Now moving to the second one. 